Hey guys, this is Geese Quest 16. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. Uh, we're gonna find out what our new Mumbo transformation is. So let's go ahead and talk to Mumbo. And yes, we have a new totem from Mumbo Magic. We'll use it right now. And you'll see what it is here. We are a candle, and what the candle transformation is, can go into places too dark for even for Banjo to see. And this one actually has a defense, unlike the mouse. You press B the row, you can uh, defend off enemies and light things. And also, you can go through areas, like dark areas, that you can't do with Banjo or Kazooie. So, we can go in this area here, which is the creepy corridors. And we got some, uh, got a beehive. Champa. Look at that. There you go. Ah! Didn't see you there. Okay, you need to jump over this green toxic uh, waste, I guess is what it is. And we got a Jinjo here. The last of the Jinjo for bad magic value. And whenever we're back out towards the Jinjo Oracle, we will claim our Jiggy. Let's see here. And now you want to do the. The jump in the uh, somersault, like the somersault attack, to make sure you take care of that Chompa. But anyways, that would do for the notes, as well as a bad magic value. And this control pad. And here we are in the haunted halls. This is where we're gonna get our next jiggy. And yes, you can defend off these green monsters here that we couldn't with uh, Banjo and Kazooie. Now here's what we need to do. As you see a picture here. There's a, a, a it was like a frame of a circle and two candles at the corners. But well, here's what you need to do. Whenever you go into a room with a circle, you need to go into a room that has a shape in it like the circle. And you see there's a star right there. And it'll give you hints to which candle to light up. And that one just tells you what the jiggy is. Well, there you know. See how here's the circle. And if you get one wrong, you will lose health. And you need to light the light candle. Like for this uh, circle one, you need to light the uh, two corner ones, and there's the picture for the triangle that we need to light the one in the top left corner. So, and once you get started with the uh, lighting the first candle, a 60 second timer will appear. If you fail to do this in the amount of time given, you fail not to light. If you fail this, you have to start over again, the beginning, and that stupid monster got in my freaking way. And yeah, yeah the star is the only one that had a lot of. Uh, you had to light all four of the candles, so got 37, 36 seconds. Stupid! Uh, that's what a jiggy's gonna be. Triangle, we just need to light this. Come on! There we go. And the square, need to light the three, the top left, the top right, and the uh, bottom ones, if we can find it. And yes, if you fail one, you will have to start again. And there we go. Once we light up all the right candles, we will uh, get a jiggy. All right. So now let's claim our reward and get on out of here. And there we go. And we just need to get that one jiggy for the Ninja Oracle. And like I said, to get that last one, we will need to. Uh, we will need to. Um, what was the, oh yeah, to go f to the last world, get another Momo transformation, come back here to do this one. So. So we're going to do a little bit of backtracking here. Ah, dang it, I went into the stupid green toxin there. In the creepy corridors. Okay, so now let's get on out of here. Let's transform back into Banjo, get the last Jinjo, uh, last, the next to last Jiggy from the Jinjo Oracle and leave. Yes, we're going to change. Back to Banjo. Alright. Now let's leave. Gotta go through the uh, vapor scrubs. Dang it. 
Yes, made it out of there before we lost any more health. And here we go. Have you heard of a place called Spiller's Har Harbor? It used to be a resort, but since Grunty's lot turned up, they, they didn't give me other visitors. So, we got another world that has been trashed by Gruntilda, so... Much like uh, Brigo Beach. There you go, those are totals. Everything's complete except for that one jiggy that we have to backtrack to. Like, go to the last world and come back here to get it, so... As for right now, we are done with Bad Magic Bayou for now. So we are ready to leave this world and open up World 4. And you, that's the next to last world, folks. And we are, believe it or not, we are almost done with the game here. So, so, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, this ain't a long game like I mentioned at the beginning of this project. Um, so yeah, I guess... I guess where it's a Game Boy game, it didn't have much memory, and I'll just take you back up to the Vapor Scrubs. We didn't have much memory, I guess, not as a uh, N64 pack did, when they could hope carry up to nine worlds. But this one, we can only have five. Really? Banjo, you could have made that. There's Mr. Rybowski again. Okay, now I'm gonna. I haven't tried to find my. Okay, no, here we go. Dude, that was close. Okay, we are actually gonna go back down here. Well, first of all, get this jiggy. Do a build drill on the cracks, and the jiggy will be yours. Get some empty honey. Get some energy here. Alright, now we are going to go back down to uh, Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Go on through this way here. Oh no. Hang on guys, gotta work my way back over. You know what, we might better get started some in uh, Spiller's Harbor, which is the next world. Okay, we found it. Found our way to uh, Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. And we need 24 Jiggies to open up this world. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Let's talk to the Jiggy Priest. You have collected enough Jiggies to enter Spiller's Harbor. So yeah, so this is actually my... Well, I would say Bad Magic Value is my favorite in the game. But now let's go on over here. Uh, take the Jiggy all the way over here. And through Sparrow Rise. And through the next part of Sparrow Mountain, known as Sparrow Mare. And that's where we find Spillers Harbor, World 4. And to open up the last world of the game, we need 39 Jiggies. So we are going to go up there now, but before we do, we are going to uh, get some things before we move on. And we still don't have enough to uh, get a honey bar extension right there. Let's go back through the way through um, uh, Bad Magic Bayou that way. Yeah, through this way. Because there's another jiggy we can get here. Here we are on Sparrow Rise. This is no way you can get through Sparrow Mare. And there's. This is the jiggy we couldn't get because of the uh, stupid chompa enemy. But now that we have the right attack, right, we can get it. Follow these notes. And here we are, Sparrow Mare. And I think there's another jiggy that we saw whenever we, uh, they were showing us the way to get to, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Spillers Harbor. Yep, right there it is, right there. You just need that one's an easy one. You just gotta float your way over there, like a uh, glide your way over there. If I meant to say, 
repair. Over here, there's a Jinjo can't get just yet. We gotta learn to move. Something to do that pad. Yes, we hear you, Jin. No, I meant it's behind here. I think that was to a Jiggy, I think. But there was a Jinjo there. Over here, and there's this dolphin here. If we can even feed him 15 eggs in this case, he'll give us a jiggy or treasure. Yeah, sure. So, what you need to do here is uh, you go into egg firing mode, you need to fire the eggs in the direction where the dolphin would be, and you feed them a certain number of times, like in this case, I think it was 10. Dang it, my uh, control pad's screwy. And you gotta be fast about this because if uh, you miss, you have to start again. If you fail, if you run out of eggs, and, and if you. Go fish. <laughs> I guess you gotta do it a certain number of times and. Uh, You gotta do that right a certain number of times, and uh, or else you won't be getting the jiggy. And we need some more eggs. And we'll try this again here. But will we stock our eggs? No, it won't. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, here we stock. That's good. At least you don't have to. Come on. Come on! I think I got the power in here. Come on. Okay, one more time. Yes, there we go. So once we uh, feed the dolphin, he'll give us a jiggy as a reward. We need to find actually a few more jig jiggies in this world. There's a Jinjo can do nothing with it just yet. And over here, can't do much over here. Yeah, we gotta go to the next world and find the. Uh, Find the, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, learn to move. See right here, that pad is static and we can't learn nothing just yet. But there's some gold feathers, which you remember from the last game, is useful in vulnerability. But we're going to have to learn to move how to do it, which will be in the next world. But, so we can fend off those uh, red monsters. And I guess that's all we're going to be able to do here in Sparrow Mountain. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video here. This may be a short video, a long video. I don't know. Do I have a timer with me? But I will see you guys next time for when we enter World 4 Spillers Harbor. So this is GeeseQuest16 signing off. Later.